Hi, my name is Zura Regnia and this is my buyer behaviour vlog. In this vlog I'm going to be looking at two separate products and the theories that apply to the purchase of them. The products I'll be looking at in more depth will be the Nike Air Max 97s and the first theory I will apply to this will be the theory of planned behaviour which was created by Isaac Adjazen and is split into three separate sections Attitude, Subjective Norms and Perceived Behavioural Control. Attitude within the theory of planned behaviour is also split into three sections Beliefs, Experiences and Perceptions. Beliefs within attitudes can be both about the product and the brand. So for me it's the 97 and Nike. Such as Nike, there are many beliefs that one person could have. For example, are they responsible? Are they eco-friendly? Is it a good quality product? Is there a good brand image with that around it? And finally, is it good value for money? For example, I believe Nike create very good quality products, both through my personal experiences with this product here, for example. I wear this probably five times a week to walk to university, probably a mile and a half and back and whilst there are some signs of wear and tear it's generally held up very well not only my personal experiences but also word of mouth many of my friends family use nike products and they always say that it's a good quality product the component within attitude is experience whilst the belief section does contain some experience as well as word of mouth and other people's experience this section focuses solely on personal experience this is very important within a purchase, especially of something like a shoe or a phone, because if you've had a bad experience with that brand before, the likelihood is you won't go back to that brand. But with it, with Nike, I've never had a bad experience. While there have been some examples of them not fitting, that's been easily resolved by returning them and getting a size up or down. The section of attitude is perceptions. Perceptions are based on how you perceive a company or a product. For me, I perceive Nike to be a very trustworthy brand, a very well-established brand, and a brand that I would personally go back to time and time again. The product itself, I perceive it to be a very good product. I think it's well, good quality, well-made, fairly priced, and I love the design of it. So I perceive it to be a very good product, and due to that, I would definitely make this purchase again, be it a different shoe, the same shoe, or just another Nike product. Norms is the second part of this theory and it looks specifically at perceived social pressures which can come from peer groups, pressure groups and or opinion leaders and performers. For me I'm going to look at my peer groups and how they influence me to buy products such as Nike, Nike shoes. Personally for me peer groups have a very big influence on my purchases because I want to fit in with them, I want to wear the clothes that they wear because I'm not very out there, I don't wear out there clothes so I, I look for popular in fashion clothing to buy and purchase. That's just my personal opinion. So for me, peer groups are definitely a big influence on my purchases. The second theory I'll be applying to this product be the psychology of colour, which highlights how colour has is more effective at getting the attention of consumers than logos or brand names. Nike are very famous for their tick logo, but for me, colour did play a very big part in this purchase. When I walked into JD Sports, where I bought them from, the first thing I was faced with was a bright orange box with white tick, which definitely drew my attention. The second thing, the colour of the actual product, I believe the white looks extremely clean and smart, but the red adds a big pop. So for me, colour was definitely a big contributing factor to this purchase. I'll now move on to my second product, which is this Apple iPhone X, which I bought from Apple Leaks. The I'll be applying to this product will be different buying situations, in particular business consumer buying which made up of six stages. The first situation is a problem recognition, which for me was I my, my old contract ran out and I needed to find a new phone and new contract. The second stage is the information search, which was for me very simple. I walked around Leeds Town Centre, looked in different phone stores, different shops, and found phones and contracts that worked for me. The third, the third phase is the information evaluation, which is weighing up your different options, filtering out, the options and working out which are best for you and which are worst. The fourth stage is the purchase decision, which is when you decide which phone or which contract you are going to sign up for or buy. The fifth stage is post-purchase evaluation, which is when you sit and you think about the pros and cons of your purchase and if you're happy with it. And then the fifth is feedback prior to next decision, which for me was how I'm very happy with this phone, very happy with my contract and that I would definitely go back to Apple and definitely use more iPhone products. Finally, I'll be looking further into different buying situations, in particular problem solving. There are three kinds. Routine, which is day-to-day -day items, such as food or items from your weekly shop. 
Secondly, limited, which are less frequent purchases, such as items of clothing. And finally, extended, which are long-term investments, such as phones. For me, 97s would be a limited purchase, as they require a medium investment, and whilst they require a fair amount of thought, not as much as an extended product would. Not only this, but they're also built to last, so they're not necessarily need to be bought frequently. For me, the iPhone X to be an extended purchase, as it not only requires a large sum of money initially, it also requires a large amount of time and consideration in the purchase process. Following on from that, it's also a long-term investment in the sense that, for example, my contract lasts three years, so the product itself should last three years.